Just, well, well, wait for people to get in here. Alright. Let's see from this time. So I can just start this loaded up. Can you just spend this entire time just asleep? All right. Hey, how do you just uh, check some of none? I'm trying to stream and have my uh, old laptop out and I hope that uh, mm, I have made some errors. Anyway, just wondering Okay, cool. Yeah. I wonder how much you can sleep. I just woke up. Oh no! Sorry about your uh, nightmares, Muse. But, uh, let's wake up. Okay, so that doesn't start the game like I thought it would. Or, I thought time would. Or maybe time was passing. Because normally that's. That planet's like right overhead, and also, I've maybe done the worst. <laughs> now I'm trying new things out. So, uh, right now, old laptop set up to be able to look at chat a bit better than you know just staring at my phone or trying to stare at my phone while gaming. Where you know doesn't really work out. That said, I don't know how to just. Uh, view the chat itself. And... Not. Let's 
see, freeze time, conversations, yeah, I would love to not have time frozen while talking to people, but time is a precious commodity. But, um, before I head out, I should probably check on my log. Because, uh, I've been to the Ember Twin. I've not been to the Ash Twin. Uh, Brittle Hollow, Giant Steep. White Hole. That. I'm wondering if I can land on that. I have no clue. But. I think. Oh, I hate that. Ooh. Yeah, we didn't learn a lot of stuff last stream, and sorry about your nightmares, Muse. But, yeah. Ah, uh, our goal. Gosh, I have I have a lot of goals. I kind of want to go. Um, let me zoom out of it. I think. Uh, gosh, it is very distracting to have my laptop out with the stream going. I <laughs> I need to find out how to just look at the. Um, you know the chat itself because that's what I'm more concerned with. Then you know, seeing what I'm doing a few seconds afterwards. That's very distracting. Oh, pause the stream. Oh yeah, you can pause the stream. Damn. <laughs> Alright, let me... Let me... <laughs> Damn. Shows how well I know Twitch. Then again, I hardly ever pause the stream. I just... I'm weird? I guess, I don't know. It's just something I don't often do. But thanks for that, up. That will help a lot, because... I have a lot of things I can be doing. And... Well, for one... Uh... You know, there's this tower... And the station... And I feel like going there would probably be, a, you know, a good idea. I think I did miss quite a bit there. I didn't explore everything. And it's technically not hard to get there. It's terrifying. <laughs> but not undoable. Or not undoable, you know, just... A bit... Like, uh, you know, yeah. It's doable. So I may just go there, you know, find everything out there, or I can go back to the, uh, to the Ember Twin and explore those, uh, the, where is it? Fredal, no, that's hollow. Ah, yes, the, uh, shelter site. Because I'm guessing that it uh, fills up with sand based on its, you know, kind of, kind of like tidal forces around the, uh, you know, going around the sun. So I think I just need to get there at a good time, and it's uh, map view, and it's close by. It's you know, relatively speaking, it's pretty close. Are y'all uh, typing in chat? Because I'm not seeing anything uh, pop up. And I wonder if it's just for me pausing the stream. But no, that shouldn't. Like, oh yeah, y'all were gonna get to the main room. But yeah, I think what I want to do... <sighs> I could go there. And I say it like that's a bad thing. Um, yeah, no, let's go back here and explore. Go to the white hole. All right. All right. 
Hello. Oh yeah, that's... What? I keep for... Uh... <laughs> I keep... Huh. Oh yeah, that's the, the smoke. From, uh, that's cute. Anyway... Anyway... Um, you know what? Can... I don't think I'll be able to... Salt Starlight. Never landed at two. Never landed bad. Oh yeah, that sounds right. Also... Uh, on impulse, I decided, let's try landing on... <laughs> this seems like a bad idea. Uh... Or not. Okay. Let's land. Let's land. Okay, I was afraid this would be a bad idea, because, uh... Uh. All right. Um. All right. Cool. Of the rogue comet. Yeah. Let's uh, let's ignore <laughs> all the other mysteries we have in store to look at another mystery. I mean, that's that's how you solve puzzles. Also, I should. I feel like I should probably be careful. Is that the twins? It sure is icy. And making sounds I don't like. Oof, I... Oh! No! <laughs> ship. Um. <sighs> no. No. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. No. My ship seems okay. It's not damage. I'm hurt though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Also, I'm shifting about. I mean, I guess that makes sense. This asteroid doesn't really have, uh... Or Comet doesn't really have much, uh, gravity. Uh, got it. Wait, 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 wait. There was something that was blue. Like... And the only things that show up in color in here, or for the camera, is, uh, is, uh, ghost matter. And thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I also have. Oh, 
congratulations. Hello. <laughs> Clary. Er, Clary? Clary. Yeah, Clary. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Oh. Poke. Even if it did, can someone call it back home? To the gravity cannon on Ember. Call it back home? To the gravity cannon? Hello, hello, hello. Ah, oh, thanks for the hosting, uh, schools, though. I really appreciate it. Hi. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Mm. Clary, <laughs> Clary, suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring, monitoring the surface. Monitoring. Uh, Pi, yes, this would be wise, I think. Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. And that's... Well... Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh... This is definitely a shuttle. I was probably passing by something, but nothing here is, uh, doing that. Hmm. I should probably say something about what were they worried about? Well, this, it freezing solid. Uh, it seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze. Call it back to the gravity cannon on Ember. Okay. I think if I want to explore, I don't know how else to continue exploring the comet. But... So I think going back to Ember Twin is uh, my best bet. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Actually, first, let's look at map mode. Okay, that doesn't show me my location here. Okay, it shows me that, but I don't... I guess I would be thinking of the other map. There's, oh, there's more to explore here. Well... <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Cool. Also, where is the, uh... White hole? I can't find it. But yeah. Hmm. I think Ember Twin sounds like a good place to poke because no, then again it explicitly like gives me a heads up like oh hey there's more to poke here. Then again, if I'm, I don't know. It explicitly states there's more to find here, but I don't know what that would be. But also importantly, this, uh... I mean, it says there's more to explore here, but I think maybe this could be blocking it up because I just don't... It's, uh... It's hard to, you know... Oddly enough, this seems to be the only place with 
gravity. With any amount of gravity. Okay, I'm still far away from the sun. Okay. Okay. And also just... Testing a hypothesis about what if there's a a planet made of ghost matter or something. Because it's just something I was wondering about. Of just, you know, the uh the rogue planet. You know, the warping planet just uh, Better get it. Move on. Try to... Hello. More ice to get on. And it's... Discovered my... Well, I... Hello. Ghost matter? What's... where? Scout, 76 meters. Where's the... great, I'm... All right. Where's the sun? All right. Uh, what? All right, um... Ghost matter. Uh, where's the scout? Okay, I'm gonna get back in the ship and get a better look at that. Mm. I'm going to pass by the sun! God damn it. Ship. Goodbye, ship. Uh, let's look for my scout. Cause it landed some fifty percent fuel remaining. Uh, that's oh, that's that's never good. Scout, where did where on earth did my scout land? Wanna try to scout it out? Where? Oh, uh, that's horrid. Where on earth did it land? I I want to say it somehow landed through, like it went beneath the ice. I only have, oh, so much minutes of oxygen anyway. Because, yeah, it's just... Yeah, I'm trying to scout that out. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah, it, it looks like it's inside. And there's weird ghost matter. Oh, I think you think it's a glitch? Yeah, I believe it. Um... I... Yeah, uh, I mean, okay, let me be stupid for a second. Er, let me... My ship is some kilometers away from me. 
Okay, it's 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 show us some yeah. Uh, I'm here. My ship is somewhere. Well Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I'd believe it. It's just And this is distressing. Well, <laughs> well, now what? This gives me more things to. I mean, I mean, this is mad stressful, but uh, this gives me more things to uh, plot about in terms of uh, finding out uh, or to investigate the. Uh, the twins. Also, goodbye ship. Yeah, goodbye Ruby. I mean, it lasted a bit longer than the one time I actually managed to land in the Dark Bramble. So, there's that. Pause for a second and mess with a laptop. Er. Uh, settings for a bit. Your ship with oxygen. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> My ship and its oxygen did, in fact, get uh, just yeeted. Oh, yeah. She oh, no. Nah. Yeah, they did wake up. Like, no, nah, man. You. Uh. Let's see. Alright. Uh, now I guess I'll just have to mess with it next time. But yeah, on this old laptop, the uh, screen saver will kick in ever so often. I can just poke the touchpad, but. Yeah. Oof. have a lot going on for it and it's close so now the quantum moon locator um I still want to try to get to the shelter site so I think I'll head because I think it's just the uh has like tides. Have you been to the thing that's above us launching a blinky light? Oh, like at the very beginning? Like Trailhead? Oh, I think I've and it just hasn't um, 
I don't think, okay, I don't think I have, because I just kind of lose track of it, you know? Like, this is a whole, you know, solar system. So it's easy to, uh... Or something neat. The trailhead, as in from the distress beacon. There's a lot of. Yeah. Hello. Okay, I could probably land my ship in here. Actually, now that I think about it. Okay, you know what? Let's try to be cool cats who know how to fly ships after the sun passes by. Because I don't want to just fly straight into the sun. Or after we pass by the sun, you know what I mean. It's all relative. Alright. What? I appreciate the little help it gives. appreciate the dramatic piece. <laughs> no, I mean, I do appreciate the dramatic music. It's just dramatic. It's more dramatic than I was bargaining for, somehow, landing on a weird alien uh, deal. Alright, some writing. The shuttle's currently resting at the comment. Okay, that's all it says. Okay. Yeah, activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Oh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. The Sunless City. Is this a shelter as well? I'm getting like distracted left and right, but oh. Dang that bit. Like if I if I just had a stick. Oh. And now my shoot. Uh. Okay. I can just hold a button. Okay, I can just do that on my... Okay, that's nifty. I thought I had to be at my ship. Also, I'm thankful this didn't uh, annihilate me. What's, uh, what's fun? It could have telefractor ship. No, I, yeah, I believe it. I absolutely believe it. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. 
Ah, yeah. Yeah, God, just tell a friend. Anyway. Oh no! Um. Larry, I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's strange energy readings coming from this. You have it? Yeah. Pi, Poke, Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. Okay. So there is a puncture. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow p protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Pi. Oh, Poke. Pi. Come back to me safely, my friends. And this is their... They look... I mean, we don't know much about the uh, Nomai, but... I mean, they look like they're probably bipedal. Maybe. What on earth are you? That said, this probably cleared up the fissure there. Oh, give me a second. Yeah, Poke is Cla yeah, Clary's sister. And yeah, I do love their spacesuits. That's the sand, isn't it? Or whatever. That connects the twins. So, wow, I was so lucky. But, I'm... Now that I did this... I guess I could... Let me go check my... Rumor... Mill. The Ash Twin, made of ash. Yeah. Um. I found a trail marker for the Sunless City, but the path is blocked, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I wish I could have a stick. <laughs> oh, actually, no. Like, cacti are pretty strong. I would need, like, a machete and probably more time than I, I have to actually get it open. But where... I want a moon... Reading from somewhere beneath the surface. Sunward side. We hear heard strange quiverings come from somewhere beneath the surface. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored. Lost contact, yeah. I guess I could go back to the interloper. You need a poke poke to come poke the... Ah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Maybe. Um. I mean, alternatively, I can just try heading towards the interloper again. Uh, I guess I should mark it on here. Not beneath the surface. Because now that this is gone, there should be a hole there as well? Yeah, yeah, the scout had to have clipped in there. 
in a very wrong way <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm. Can I get out here? No, I'm not sure. Or wait. There's something I was thinking about. Uh, where is it? Am I blocking the view of it? Uh, This was activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Can I get out of here now that this is in the way? Backing out with the target. Yeah, I think it may be doable. Or maybe. I can launch from inside the shuttle. I can launch from inside the shuttle? Oh yeah. What do you mean? There's a control pad at the head of the shuttle if you want to play around with it. No, I think I might. Because, uh, yeah, this is kind of... Yeah. happened ship 25 meters what happened what did I do <laughs> still here oh yeah I guess that would call the ship home yeah um Yeah. Okay. Would I have to wait until I'm pointed at the interloper? I mean, if I can recall it from... Um... Let's... Let's be bold. Uh-huh. Thanks. Oh. I have made a choice. Oh wow, that launched me a bit farther than I thought it would be. Come on, you. I can't tell where <laughs> the, uh... I probably missed my chance, maybe. Whoosh. That visual effect is great, of just everything folding on itself. Okay, where am I being launched at? Holy cow, I'm booking it. On. Um. Oh, hi, ship. Did I telefrag my ship? Okay, no, I didn't telefrag my ship. This filled with sand. No, oh, what? Okay, maybe it didn't fill with sand. Ah, 
<laughs> okay. Hi, ship. Um. Definitely got slammed. Okay, fuck pit is fixed. But yeah. Oh, this probably also affected it as well. The whole sand. starting to fill, but I feel like it'll... I am not sure what I want to do right now. Uh, especially with all this blasted sand, er, sand in the way. Um... There's still a lot of things I want to... Yeah, a bit of choice paralysis, and also of just, I want to explore with this ship, or... Actually, what I want to do... ...is... ...try to head towards... ...shuttle. God! No! <laughs> That's why I was having trouble, because I was like, oh yeah... Can I... Not, I... Yeah, no, I can't... Put a marker on the interloper itself. Now that this is here. Don't quite know how to send it back, though. Also, the music is getting emotional. Uh, can I be st stubborn? Maybe. If I do a sick flip. Can I do a sick flip? Okay, I can... Leave. I don't think I can mark the surface reading, or I've tried to. And, uh, I go over here, entries, shuttle, mark location. I can't mark location here. So I basically have to. I mean, uh, it's orbit. Uh, you need to lock on the from. The back button. Oh, I can't lock on. I think because it's technically a bit outside of the uh, solar system. No, I. Uh, or maybe I can do it while I'm piloting? Or while I'm actually buckled up? Okay, I think I can do it while I'm buckled up. Okay. While I'm buckled up in my ship, I can. Uh, it off. That said, this may be a foolish idea. Yeah.
because, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. What on earth was next to me? Okay, that's Dark Bramble. Yeah, no. <laughs> ah, then again... You know, running out of oxygen... Space is pretty terrifying. Sunward side. Okay, I think the sunward side is still the place to look. It's just, uh, if I land right on the sunward side, it's the most likely that I will just get blasted, like, Okay, this is messy, but thankfully the game's a bit more lenient with uh, the whole bonking your ship than uh, I thought it would be, so I'm very glad for that. Wait. Which is shuttle, gravity, dark side of the comet. Keep it warm. Okay, I thought this would be uh, saved. Hmm. That's ass. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Let me look at the map. How close? I was about to say, oh, maybe I should look at the sun side. Eat a snack real quick and pet a cat. Someone, someone clip that. <laughs> someone clip that, please. Oh my goodness. have a little kitty co-piloting this adventure for now. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, horrid. Okay, well, I don't need to move the frozen shuttle. I know that now. So poking that may not, may still be a pretty 
decent idea. And it is very interesting. I just need to, um, you know. Ah, that's true. I just need to know the time, which is about 57 minutes. Let's see, where is the... Alright. Gosh, the autopilot is really good in this game. Then again, I know it's not, like, absolutely perfect. Um, but, like, it does a great job. Honestly, considering that everything is, you know, astrophysics. Which is bonkers to still think about. But yeah, it's the sunward side that has a crack that they were able to get into. And, uh... Sunward side to be the side, not the side. Well, I'm on. Th I'm at the right side. Also, still on the lookout for my just wild hypothesis of what if there is a. Oh, hello. Okay, you're just ice. I both love and also find it funny the fact that, uh. How close am I to the sun? I may want to get back on my ship so that I don't lose it. Think. Is that how that works? I don't know how this... Look, I'm not sure about the physics of this. Receding. Oh, that is the ice receding. That makes sense. Gosh, there's so many cool things in this game. Gotta. Eat. Who knew? Yeah. Really? I have to wait for the comment to completely loop now? What? Like, wouldn't it still stay at least a bit... melted? Like, a little bit? Some amount? Did it... did it seriously... I'm... I... oh my god. Seriously? That's... that's honestly very annoying. I mean... <laughs> there's a lot I like about this game. Like, a lot. But that's... Okay, that is a really annoying thing, that it doesn't stay frozen a bit longer. There are parts of it do or something. You know. It just kind of... Yeah, timing puzzles, I know, but I mean... It, the last time I passed by the sun with my ship that close to it, my ship got kind of launched. So I'm just not the most excited about having to just wait on my ship. 
I don't know how to stay. I mean, I would have to land at the back of the comet, I guess. But still, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying, and it's... Yeah. Not the biggest fan. Also, can I target the... I can't. Not even when I'm, uh... In my thing. There are many times to keep the ship on the combat. It will eventually slingshot away. Uh, yeah, I guess I just have to let it slingshot away. Yeah. There is, uh, how many gravitational forces are in play? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, uh... Yeah, true, it is expendable, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, it's expendable, but if I mess up, if I don't get there quickly enough, then I'm screwed. Ugh. And also, it makes for bad stream. <laughs> I hate to just wait. Well, I guess, you know, while I'm looking at it here, it's still wild to think about how everything in this, it still blows my mind true, in this game at least, is that, you know, literally no object in this game is stationary. Not a one. Park yourself at the ass. Yeah, I guess. But then, I, then again, I have to, it seems, you make it seem like the ice just refreezes immediately. So I have to just be at the front of it. Like, if I'm going off of your... <laughs> Your uh, your recommend your your comments about it. It seems like I don't know how much of a, a win uh, window I have. I mean, I'm still gonna park myself at the at the uh, ice side of it, but I don't know how much time because like I wasn't thinking. Like, ice crack on the sun side. Yeah. Then again, um, it can be kind of hard to tell the orientation that I want. Because you know, when I open up the map, I see this view, which is important and good because of just everything will spin in this kind of axis. But I don't know, like, the, you know, the, uh, the longitude and latitude of the comet that I want to be at, and I can only zoom in so far. And I think I want to go... Like, yeah, it's just hard to tell. Okay. That's good to know. No hard things gone before. Yeah, true. Also, I need to go talk to him again and do some of those options, because I don't know, like... I've kind of talked to everyone there, but I don't know if there's something that I may have missed. And walk until you're on the opposite side of the tanning plant to view your ship. What? Alright. I... I... 
I, I don't know what is the... I'm not 100% uh, sure what the pull of this is, I guess, is what gets me. But... No. Yeah, you mean the the, the mini-map. Okay, just, yeah. This tiny planet, I'm like, what are you talking about? Alright. Where am I looking for? Hmm, I hate that. Seriously, where... What am I looking for? Because the ice receded here, but, like... Aha! Uh -huh. What? Oh. This is where... This is where, I think, maybe, instead of glitching in here, my, maybe my, uh, scout, it might have glitched or made of, no, yeah, it would have to have glitched because there's the long tunnel. And it took, yeah. Yeah, I shot one. No, no my pond plant and a recorder. Yep. Hi. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it must, uh, whatever it is, must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Well, keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. Clary, I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Hit me. Um, anyway. Because I'm pretty sure it encountered some ghost counter uh, matter. Or, like, it bypassed it. But I think this may be our safest option. That's... alright. Oh, 
hello. I mean, that's gorgeous, but, uh... Mm. So, where else can I go? I... See, I came from there. I guess up there. Is that ghost matter? I thought it normally couldn't, uh... Okay, I don't think it's ghost matter. I'm just being incredibly cautious here. Then again... Gah. Where on earth are you going, old dude? Is he going on a journey all the way to the front? Hmm. That's what, okay. Yeah, that's what I was seeing when it got glitched in there. What path is safe through the share tunnel? Uh. I'll find out. <laughs> uh, I mean. I mean, okay, going right, I think it was maybe left. Ooh. Alright, this is kinda... I think if I go slowly... Uh, Alright. I think it's... If I go s slowly... Come on. Come on. Ah! You... Stop that. Oof. Alright, it kinda wants me... to... There. Fuck. Put on my ship. Alright, I think if I can land there. What? Uh. Now, let me pause for a second to read chat just because <laughs> I am doing a lot of of, uh, correcting my path that, you know, did not tunnel top right corner. What? Oh, there's... Is there a path? It's... Okay. You... Okay. Alright, yeah. Well, I know we're running out of time. There's not much I can... Bah! Ugh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the comet hit the sun. Um.
Yeah. Honestly, fuck this ice ball. <sighs> and yeah, I just... Yeah, I felt... Mm, I kind of hate that because I was so close. I was so close, but I just... About progression for the... There. I feel like I... Uh, I hate it, but I almost feel like I have to go back there. Now that I know what to do, because I was kind of unsure a lot. Let me just... Um, Mark it. <sighs> I hate. Um. Yeah. Where? Where are you? Okay. Yeah, with this trajectory, we were just ice skate on the edge trying to figure out... Yeah, I mean, and also there's a whole bunch of very, <laughs> you know, the tunnels of ghost matter, which, I mean, I felt like they probably wanted you to go faster. It kind of, you know, for some reason I'm thinking of Battletoads. It's not Battletoads, it's nowhere near as hard as, you know, that Battletoads section, but... It kind of reminded me of, like, just of how fast my, uh, uh, you tried your best. Yeah, no, I bet I, I very should have easily been, like, annihilated. By, like, just... By like the speed of that, I should have just been like obliterated. Let's see here. I think. Let me. You could have smashed your face first in the comment, dude. To help I, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's. I was very. Okay, I should probably wait in the ship some more. I think. Donk. Yeah. I mean, remember the time, uh... I don't know how to gauge how long it takes me to walk somewhere. But I think this is as good as ever. Which, th then again, you can't really blame me when I... I mean, it, I'm, I'm traversing a, uh, a, an asteroid. You know, I don't know how long, how much time that takes to do. Ugh. Okay. Where... a kid cat keep him company also I need to find that stupid is it here yeah it is it's here what don't you dare slide me into danger you 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 bristle. uh all right. <sighs> the ice was resealing. No, I believe it. 
and technically this is untranslated. Yeah, Alright, so we got that. Um, I believe... This was the safe... Alright, yeah. Oh, Kitty's chilling in her uh, little cat tree. Deal, not cat tree. Alright, now this one I remember being a pain because it's not a pain. Because uh, it's, I go right, then I go left. And then I end up somewhere, and I avoid being ghosted, or annihilated by ghosts. Yeah, not, just give me a second, let me just uh, grab a quick snack. All right, let's, let's go. What? Don't stop. What? Let's go. found the only safe route to the comet's core. I wish I could, uh... Alright. It's all feel it... Wow. Wow. Wrong button. I... Let me get my, uh, the spherical, uh, poke. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy reading. No, no, rather, the source is what's, what's in the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. Pi. The stone is mu uh, muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Poke. Pi. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us, as far as I can tell. Direct contact with it with, with it would almost certainly be fatal. Pi, I've never encountered anything like this, uh, like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse, more still, this matter is disturbing, is disturbingly volatile. Poke, Pi. Whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. 
It's under, it's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitudes worse than I imagined. If this stone were to rap rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantly. Oh. Almost instantly, and the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Oh. Stone were to rupture. Like, so that's... Oh. Pi, return to the shuttle, right now. The rest of our friends need to know that they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter. Somehow. Now, poke! You remember? Yeah, I remember talking about how planet made ghost matter. Is vile and hated by us. <laughs> you discovered the end of the no my. Wait, no. No, that's. 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 Hello. Okay, so they use that as helmets. Hmm. All right. Um, I wish I can check my ship's log or something, because, uh, I'm kind of... Still thinking about this, oh, yeah. Yeah, it did blow open. This is what imme instantly killed the Nomai across the entire soul. Wait, wait. Across? Oh yeah, because they were talking about how... Certainly lethal. Like this casing. Muting our energy. Yeah, it burst open. Protecting us from up inside. Yeah, it burst open. Tons, tons of pressure. Rapidly expand, blanketing this entire system almost instantly. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely what, you know, killed them all, but I'm just kind of wrapping my head around. Like. Okay, this is probably the source of the ghost matter? Because they had no idea what it was. They were just kind of, you know, confuddled of, like, what is this? And, like, you know. The Harthians know it as ghost matter, and that it's incredibly lethal. But I'm guessing at some point it, like, dispersed or something? Because there's only some places around the uh, solar system that actually have, you know, concentrations of ghost matter. But yeah. This is wild. Hmm. Comet capture by system that. I mean, basically, yeah. And, uh. I should. match. Lost a match. I think. Where's my ship? Did my ship get launched into. Yeah, it would tell me where my ship is. Uh, yeah, my ship got, uh, launched probably either into the sun or 
into the the grave beyond. Oh no! It. Uh, hi. Hi. Um. No, give me a second. I'm gonna screenshot. I hope I actually save that screenshot. Oh well. No, it. Wait. Uh, this is about an uh, hour thirty three minutes into this. I can take a picture of that. Far escaped right into a warm a slingshot. It far escaped. Yeah. Bonkers. But, um. Wait. <sighs> Get away from me. Wrong thing. Okay, it looked like it ruptured. Roof shard. This looks so, like, ordered. I'm wondering if there'd be any... anything here. <laughs> so Derek <laughs> jumps into ghost matter. No, I mean, I'm expect- I guess- I guess all the ghost matter got ejected. Well, I heard someone. No, it wouldn't be fitting for this game, but I'm kind of upset that uh, you can't just take a selfie. I mean, it would be very much unfitting with this game. <laughs> 72 kilometers. God, how far is that? Ghost matter there. Yeah, no, just every path. And, well, not to worry about ghost matter. Erm, uh, okay, I guess I... What? I guess so. I mean, I... It's never easy to just feel like, oh, time to jump into ghost matter. You're on approach to... Let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot that ghost matter is... Yeah, okay. I forgot that ghost matter is very much incredibly lethal. Just, you touch it and you die. You know, and also, you say play with the dead, <laughs> but, you know what, that makes me wish I knew how to set up, uh, what was it, the, the chat box to be on stream while streaming on the Xbox, on the, uh, X-Bone. Like, that would be really great, because <laughs> just all the little deaths would be, uh, good to have there. I didn't mean to kick their butt. I think it was just the gravity of the sun, like, they, like, just being knocked around. Also, let's suit up. And I want to go talk to Hornfall. Which should be over there. Uh, which... Should... work.
stays in the core unless some form of force acts on it. Oh no! No! Yeah. I guess it just exploded too soon. No, let's talk to Hal for a second. <laughs> Excited. Fur is weird. Yeah. I kind of wish that I can have their animations keep going and not have game pause, but I can understand that would have been, like, a bit of a pain, you know, the pro depending on how they programmed it, especially since, like, uh, literally the gravity of all ma body of mass, uh, all, you know, masses are, like, a thing that are being kept track of and all that. But, uh, what's going on the statue? Let's see, Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Oh, yeah, he's probably on the Ashen one. Or he could be on the uh, Ember one, but somewhere I haven't checked. Brittle Hollow. Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. Feldspar. Oh yeah, we learn we learn quite a bit of story stuff even. But I just wanted to check in. And I didn't die. Um Hal's gonna miss ya. The big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. Nice try, we just know you have it out for that tree. Yeah, no, the time freeze is absolutely, like, useful to be able to talk to people and not have to worry about your time dwindling. But, yeah. What? No, I just think, I just think it's in the way and someone's ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Haha. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who <laughs> would have held a grudge for that long? <laughs> oh, yeah, I should check out that tree. What tree in the village, though? Alright, I guess they. Pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is the remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it has been argued such a distance required uh, distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless nevertheless always be rem remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Yep. Nice.
anyway. Oh yeah, they're eyeballing that tree. Is it that big one? Like, that has to be it. You know what? After... Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot the waterfalls produce a lot of noise. Thankfully I have it lowered on my headset. Stink eyes, anything. Plural, yeah. Yeah, good. Have fun with the ghost matter. Talk to Moraine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. It's good weather for launch, right? That's lucky. Any good sound threes today? There are! My signal scope is set to the outer wild venture frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Ray, uh, Ryback's banjo coming from uh, Brittle Hollow. Hope that means they're safe. Time of day or night, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Hey, Thampa. Later, then. <laughs> Alright. It's nice to just chill a bit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'll need to make some highlights of this video in particular. Uh, excuse me. Oh goodness. Just... Yeah, I got pancaked. Just the most... Or the most... Yeah, out of all my deaths so far, probably the most humiliating. Like, damn. Because I was having trouble get out, you know, getting out, because it it's uh, recessed a bit below, so you actually have to jump. Yeah, Slate is gonna have nightmares. Uh, wrong thing. Oh yeah, um, rumor mill. I don't think that's what it's called, but... Oh, it's just rumor mode. Okay. I found two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew. They are a large raptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. Let's trace strange energy rings to the spherical stone casing filled with some exotic matter. Lethal pressure, yep. Completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. Frozen shuttle, yeah. So we know how they died. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's just the yeah the yeah because I had to jump to get out of the the recess part for the elevator platform that you know took just enough time for me to that I couldn't get out safely. Which is wild. E. Don't like that. Um. Uh, mode. Sunless City. Angular Fridge Fossil. Caves mm. beneath the crushed. Okay, so I couldn't get in from the part that, you know, I was hoping I'd be able to get into just because of the cacti, which is a bother. Uh, okay. 
also inside, but the opening was big enough for my scout. Inside solid <laughs> solidarity. God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I want to... Um, yeah, I've been poking around the, the twins. I think I want to keep poking. Yeah, there are a lot of ways to die in this game. Um... <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Also, I'm never sure with, like, of, like, when are you... You know... Let's see here. Will this work? And I'll, yeah, I mean, it happens a, a lot. Generators. Hi there. Am I about to crash into the, uh, Ashen Twin? Know what? Know what? Is there... Is there anything on the Ashen Twin? Hmm. Fuck. Okay. Know what? You know what? I should have died there. <laughs> I should have died there. I'll be the first to admit that. I should have absolutely... I should have beefed it there. Like, there's... There's no reason for me to have not beefed it there. But I just... I guess I was moving slow enough that it took pity on me. And this is sweet. as hell, to be honest. And I forgot I didn't have my flashlight on. I hate that. Unidentified signal nearby. Observed. Son of a. Where did it? 255 meters. Okay, it's on the planet. Alright. Alright. Want to be that way? It quant. <laughs> Alright. I'll give me. Uh. Jump on my PC to see the stream. Uh, tell me when you're, uh, I guess tell me when you're back on stream. 
Or not, I guess I'll take this moment to wait and grab a quick bite. Still watching? Okay, you're back. Alright, then I'll just answer this. Uh... Uh, give me a second. So you're back. I'm back. Let's go. Hmm. Alore. Friends, if if you find any sign of Colas, I implore you to tell me. He's he vanished without a trace during a research trip, and he's been missing ever since. Burr, Malare, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Colas. Colias, Colias, can you tell us more about your expedition? Malara, you you have my gratitude, Burr. You have my gratitude, Burr. Calais and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Colas lost, Malare? He disappeared in the cave. He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant, and without warning. He disappeared in the cave. At the bottom of the dry lake bed. At the North Pole. Okay. Molari, I, I turned away from uh, Coleus uh, to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air. He had, oh, he had a limited supply of air. Anona, I'm afraid for him. Anona, hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Kaloris disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Nice clear directions. Yeah.
eine Freizeit. Oh. Oh, where's the sun? Okay. Um, you know what? I have a buddy to talk to. God, I love the views in this game. Like, I don't have an unlimited supply of fuel, but it just feels better to just kind of... You're a real... <laughs> real... <laughs> short shirt. Goodness, it's you! Oh, now I have no idea what sort of voice to do for Chert, other than it seems to be always right. Fuel pack to you all with. Oh, nice. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it you, it's your first launch. Uh, I take it your first launch went well, then? Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Uh, Hornfield asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here ob observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? Oh, ho, ho. Alright. Alright. I'm glad I have time paused while I'm talking to people, because I've been thinking about that. Of just, like, like the other astronauts are probably, like, watching the skies at some point. Because I've been thinking about that quantum moon. Um, uh, or, uh, what's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Oh, uh, what's weird is I've, I've actually seen a couple of uh, supernovae today. Usually it'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or two on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Is the astronomer. Yep. Tell me, what can I do for you? Um, first, let me put a kit cat. Chill in there. Um, found something. <laughs> please! Oh, please, do tell! Actually, never mind. Uh, nothing you'd like to discuss at the moment? There is no trouble. If you discover anything you want to talk about, I'd be happy to help. I have a question for you. How do I know if I spotted a supernova? Ah, uh, supernova look like uh, extra bright stars to the naked eye. But if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of those stars are older than we realized. You can bring Chert any astronomical discoveries you come across? Wait, what? Really? Wait, really? Oh, like the, uh, the scrolls or whatnot? Would that count? Or no, astron astronomical. Um... Is related to astronomy. Well, I think a lot of things are technically related to astronomy. <laughs> Like, okay, so I don't have to bring it to him, but if I have something specifically in his wheelhouse. Alright. Tell me, um. Oh, right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfell's notice our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others to say this, but sometimes I, I think the only traveler out here interested in doing any <laughs> I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Or maybe don't tell Hornfell uh, either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Uh, to be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm not really good with 
but I'm really good with the little scout, so I've only taken pictures of everything right <laughs> from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwrecked site on the Ember Twin Southern Hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam into the uh, bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. You find Nomai ruins across the twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there were one, I, I haven't seen it with my little scout. Yep. I... <laughs> so, where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. The Ember Twins is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Uh, okay, no, I, that was literally the question I asked, I just kind of forgot. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On the scale of 1 to dead, I would give it 7 or 8. Awful pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, and uh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a, uh, once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. A oh, big lag spike. Mm. No idea why. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty sure the the white hole station is pretty astronomically you know, significant. Maybe, you know. Maybe just a little bit. Can I make it across there? I don't know if I can. I mean, I can try. Don't know if I can actually uh, pull it off, though. Mm. <sighs> oh yeah, I want to check that out. Okay, I can totally make it across due to the gravity here. Wait, oh, this isn't mine. I'm being silly. My ship is... Damn. I mean, to be f that that's a pretty fair assessment. To be honest. One three cockpits if I Oh that's tight as hell. Uh, I need to get where's my ship? I keep losing track of it. Ship. Oh that's tight. Uh I wish I can climb up it though. Let's go. That's tight as hell. I want to land there, but at the same time I feel like if I do... I'm gonna, like, die. I mean, like, 
being afraid of being telefragged is a rational fear in this game. It feels incredibly rational to just be like, oh hey, that looks cool. Goodbye, Scout. That's okay. Hello. Hello. Doesn't allow me to go back. Which I find interesting. So I'm like, uh... Where is that? That's a museum shark. And on the... Uh, not sure. Well, now there's something cool on where my scouts are. Like, this is cool, but I don't know. Like, this feels weird, because this is incredibly cool, but it's just, uh... I don't know what I can interact with here. Yeah, but there's no uh, elevator to go down, is what gets me. Odd. What? No. You stop that. It's my ship. Goodbye, ship. Mm. You stop that. I refuse. Isn't this what? Son of a gun. Where am I? Sand flow is very powerful. Warp status. Charge. Step into the warp receiver. Platform to activate return warp. Thank you. Also, where's my ship? Okay, I'm here. My ship is on the Ember Twin. Delightful.
Oh, the uh, ring thing, it was just like, oh, the... It's like, you're... Uh, good to go to warp back. Do they have a second message? You sure? No, uh, there is a second time on that y'all, you mean you, uh, have only read the bottom one. Oh! I guess I can wait to read the other one. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not obvious. It's not obvious and it's easy to forget with, like, all the other mysteries and whatnot. Yeah. a lot of mysteries and things and forgetting to read a thing that isn't obvious if it like yeah what I'm saying is I don't I do not take any blame for not reading a thing that is just kind of easy to let's see Whenever you open the map, it's hard to tell where exactly you're looking at. I mean, I don't know. It would have to be whenever I am pointed at Timber Hearth. <sighs> but yeah. I wish it would show you the next page or something instead of having you to scan different things on the same object. That is just really... Like, it's a minor gripe, but it is a gripe that, like, I feel like I'm missing something or whatever because I didn't notice. Like, I think that's why I, it's like, oh, hey, you're missing... you're missing something on the, the white station. Like, I think that's exactly why. That I just didn't read something that wasn't too obvious. Because I was like, oh, I scanned and then walked away. And, yeah. Charge. That's why I read. And then there's this one. Devar oh, departure time. Arrival time. Interesting. Okay. Now that, that is interesting. It gives you a time. Huh. Probably according to the know my time units or whatever time units they did. Hmm. Give me a second to grab that. Wait. 
Oh, they I didn't notice that, actually. I thought it was reversed in my mind. Like, just reversed it automatically. But I arrived before I left. Oh, I need to put a scroll in here. Hmm. Where am I? The. Okay. next to my ship. Archer time. Uh, 1202. 4460.05. Arrival time. Yeah. I arrived before I left. Red. So, hi ship. Sorry, ship. I don't know, wait, you're not. Okay. No, I'm on the Ember Twin now. Hold well, damn. I don't have much time left. That needs a scroll to read. There's a scroll somewhere not too far away from here, I think. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've been here. I don't know what this is. It's on the city. 300 meters. And yeah, a very good name for a track. Um, Ryan, me. And I? No, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Hi, and I are running some experiments based on the experiment. White Hole Station. I know, running this experiment until one of us can prove the other wrongs. Although it can be made at the lab currently. Fuck. Well, I know where to look, I think. I think. Yeah, I know there's text outside the door. Uh, when, yeah, it's just one of the few times where the game, like, time cannot be stopped. It just refuses to let that happen. I forgot you're probably a bit behind the stream, so I'm just reading it and reacting. But, um, you know what? First off, can I actually roast a marshmallow decently? I 
it deserve. That's it though, I'm making some good time on, uh, not good time, other thing I've done. I've been doing a, a lot of progress on, uh, the Hourglass Twins. Uh, no, let's go back to Ember. The smoke is the sign of where your good friend is, but uh, this is what I'm interested in right now. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> That's funny, just hitting Slade. Just the idea of that is just funny. Also, I know it's not uh, what I was saying. Yep. Ah. All right, let's read this note. Oh yeah, the idea of hitting slate with uh, marsh burnt marshmallows is funny. Ah. <laughs> uh, remain close for some time. Pyre, Pi and I are running experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the White Pole Station. Remy and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's in inconvenient, the lab is currently, oh, the lab currently can only be accessed from the Sunless City. <laughs> Remy. An update. The High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City path to the lab. Time's mixed up. Time... it's... italized. Time's italized. Time is... For some time. Oh, what's here? Inviting sand inside would uh, disrupt our setup and could have enormous, enormous consequences. We've realized that this is an intric uh, intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. High energy lab. Remain closed for some time. And they broke the dang thing. It's on the city. You know what? While the it's not covered, let's get a move on. matter. Crash site caves. 60 miles. Uh. 
kind of wondering if, uh... Oh well. Now what, let me... End the voice bro. Yep. Now... So, you know how your scout clipped into the inside of the interloper? Oh, yeah. Did it do that again? Um, refill your air supply tank and return quick. I don't know if it got changed or anything, but it used to be if you moved fast enough, you can just smash your face right through the glass of the AG, the high energy lab observation deck. That's, that's funny. Lead seal briefly. We cannot tell of her name, but do not link her. God damn it, I'm here again. Uh, how do I get to the thing. I kind of forgot. Is it this path? Is wise choice for shelter? The difficult part was to stop moving fast enough that you didn't die from impact from the various parts inside the high energy lab. The start by the shelter. Okay, this probably this looks like the path. Michaelius, the path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Achilles, to reach the sh uh, shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit. Then turn left, continue to the room filled with rock column formations, and climb upward through the opening above them. Ah, this feels like a pain. Um, walk forward, sandfall at the pit, turn left, keep going, then climb up. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. I'm going to kick. Mm -hmm. Cool, yes, I know you disappeared. And stuff. Okay, kick your ass. Walk forward. Turn left. Room filled with rock formations. Upward. Sorry, I'm just a big baby. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, that wasn't too hard, but... Uh, be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge of Malari and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. You can say that again. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the fallen sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the silt. Okay. I don't want to look around, but... Oh, 
<sighs> You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach its shelter site. You can rest here. Hurry before the sand comes. Uh, that's how much I want to explore. Did I find it? Did I do it? Did I do something I wanted to do? I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> This is huge. Ah, should we build? <sighs> they can <laughs> breathe air from all that. Should we build the sun station uh, to power the Ash Twin project? Ad Adia. I almost can't comprehend. This is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the Sun Station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to, and everything we believe in as a species. What? Yaro, are there other ways to generate this level of power? Pi, theoretically, yes. Practically? No. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. Rime, Remy, I understand this pro this proposal propos uh, proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. As an unsurprisingly idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Laius, if we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. Idea, the potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Poke. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try, I believe. If we're cautious, the sun, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea? I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause the destruction once we built it, then I won't su su uh, support the sun station's use. Well then. Well, wow. Anglerfish Overlook District, Stepping Stone District, High Energy Lab, Ice Shrine District. I don't know how much time left I have. Like, I want to explore. Like, everything, but this looks like a lot. Um, I mean, okay. Hmm. I mean, 
the high energy lab sounds like where I want to go. I have no idea what I did. Stone cave. Hit up. Yeah. Yep. Okay. A lot of this kind of leads upward. The sand is rising. You don't need to tell me. Did I go in a circle? why everyone says the eye is important. <laughs> Actually, let me... I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if the eye isn't something good? For a second, Kastorin, I saw ghost matter. Hello? Hello. Yeah, they... I think they were ran by a child. And also, why is the camera picking up what looks like ghost matter? 
or something. Like, I hate that. I don't think I can open that time. Gravity Cannon. Oh wow, this is a... Bonk it to a tree real quick. Not what's good. This? What's the shortcut you're thinking about? I said there's ghost matter, but I'm not picking up. Oh, there's some bot light peeking out. No, I, I, I'm gonna pause a bit, cause I, uh, yeah. And find the exit. Oh. Oh. This is good. This is very good. Alright. Alright. <sighs> Let's see here. The engine lightbringer still exists. My ship is... Planet, but we've got some good information though. Yeah, that is honestly really great. This is what I was thinking about. That there is a place... Where was it? I think on the Ashen Twin? That needed the, uh... Thingy. Okay, this one I can't select. The thing, it just tells me where the quantum mode is. And now it's going buck wild. Wait, where is the Yeah, I know. I've read that before. 
I'm just wondering. this one before in here. Um, Dark Bramble. Yeah. I was wondering Yes, there was a lace with a scroll wall, but no scroll on the ash. And I was wondering if I could bring one from here or there, if that would give a different text, but I think probably I just need to find the scroll. I'm just kind of thinking, I don't know how much time I have left, and I'm away from my ship. That said, I've found a way to the Sunless City, and I find a quicker way to the Sunless City. So, I mean, like, that, that counts for something. That... okay. Now... Here's the curtain call. I might as well be a little bit comfortable. Um, where is he? You know what? I think I may be able to. I don't know how much time left I have. I know I have some time. He's on... where are you? Okay, you're around here. <sighs> if it helps, we're in a time loop, so we won't really die. Ah, oh, that's a lovely... Uh, thought. Is that how you're coping with this? Does it help? Or, no, that's not... Oh, duh. Does it help? Oh, time loop, you said. I like that idea. There they go. Speed the drums. And also, to be fair, it's kind of hard to tell North and South Pole, like, visually. I think my mini- do I have a mini-map on landing? I might. That's it. <sighs> I could probably... Oh wow, a hundred, almost, yeah, almost three hours. <sighs> and that goes that way, wherever that way is. I'm not sure. Gosh, 
we're okay, I'm getting better at this. I you know, I still I'm still get really lucky with things. But I'm getting better at uh figuring some things out. Church camp, so let's see. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, there is. There's a cave at the bottom of the dry lake. At the bottom of the dry lake bed. Okay. Okay, red for north and blue for south. Alright, that makes sense. I can do that. Look here, the North Pole. Supernovae recently. Catonic. Had become catonic in response to our sun's end. City built into the walls of a huge underground city. Vertically, four districts debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, there is. Debated. Yeah. Four to explore here. The high energy lab can only be accessed from the path from the sun the city. And. has been a very rich place to investigate. Also, I need to explore the quantum caves as much as I don't want to. <laughs> um. Maybe, uh, first, the yeah, last Twins, Ember Twin. What? That game? Yeah, this has been a much longer stream than the last time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I think probably one more run. Yeah, it's probably gonna be last. I mean, I kind of feel like I can keep going, but I, I don't know. Not getting frustrated, just uh, you know, th it's a very dense game, and I'm just like trying to figure out what you know, what uh, you know, what I know, what I don't know, you know. I haven't really been able to 
pause for too long and process everything yet. Hmm. Goodness, it's you. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, do I have to bring him one of the scrolls? I, I don't know what on earth. Could it be a photo? fun diversion, but, uh, let's do something. Okay. Um, I could... God, that's terrifying to look at. Okay, so, cave at the lake bed. I mean, when it a space station or a station devoted towards, you know, fucking uh, a, a white hole, be interesting, like, 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 am I wrong? <laughs> am that not interesting? And I forgot that I have a... And I'm gonna... Mmm. Mmm. And this is... Stairs down here. I'm not stuck, stuck. That's good. Yeah. I mean, the, okay, my question is does it recede? Okay, no, it's rising up. I guess it'd be just the same as uh, finding the gravity cannon. Ah, okay, yeah, for the purpose of this game design, it goes in one way. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's incredibly valid. <laughs> the gravity cannon over here. Yeah, his has uh, three clock pegs. Okay. 
It's on the South Pole. Is that the core of the planet? Uh, it would be somewhere here. Also, I'm glad uh, your flashlight doesn't consume battery or fuel or whatever. Also, I said something about this camp. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's some over there. But, there is... Okay, there is cacti over here. Um, I don't want to land on that, but... Okay. And I'm safe. Bonk. And for the sake of the lowest one. The camera tells you what's safe or not from ghost matter. Yeah, not just the rest of this. part of the city. Yeah. Like, we're meeting the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the angler fish overlock. You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Just go to the stepping stone cave and <clears throat> then up and into the fossil fossil fish cave. Take it. I tried to get to the fossil fish through the stepping stone cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the f what? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the angler fish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Yeah. No more babies. Stepping stone cave. Throw a light into it. Let me. Taggett can't fit through the anglerfish over, uh, overlook hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. <laughs> Who cares? Helix is still the tallest. So I felt like did I hit up all the lights? Cause it still feels a bit dark. Stepping stove cave. Well, I mean, here's something else I can do. I hate that. <laughs> I wish I had more light or something. Stepping stove cave. Is this where I got lost that one time? The bottom two are only.
Let me pause real quick. Oof. Yeah. 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 That's relevant. Oof. <laughs> Not... <clears throat> no, I think. You know, the uh, stream's been going on a lot longer than I thought I would have the uh, energy for, which I'm glad about, but uh, I think for now, I kind of want to call it, which if it as climatic as uh, some of the <laughs> earlier uh, runs towards, you know, their ends, but uh, eh. yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it now. Maybe. Actually... So, label... label. I... Mm, I think the uh, lab... I think before I decide if I want to end right now or not, first get up, check the rumor mill. Nothing came up. Alright, no. I said I was going to end it, but I think I want to try to clear this out, that there's more to explore here. And also, make a look fish. I'm the stepping stone cave. It's hard to see unless... It's fed a light first. Okay. Oh wait, that's ass. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think I think doing this and getting this out of the way is my current mission. Um 
Which would mean... The escape pod. Yeah. No. Yes. Okay, yeah, no, this is where I'd want to go. To find the anglerfish and feed it a light. I just realized I... There's a way to the lookout. I want to go to North Pole for that. That's uh, fine. The, There's the, uh, Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, love. I know I have a lot of time-intensive things to do, but I just, you know, want to observe how they were. Guess who they were before they were gone.
that and get there. I guess I'm getting distracted. Which I guess isn't a surprise for me. Um, also, give me a sec. Because my laptop... locked itself. Which is something I absolutely need to edit. Amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We have encountered others in these caves. I think this is the rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we can examine it. Coleus, Cole, uh, we both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the investigation. The, uh, vessel's evacuation. This clearly is a hole too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. This is another entrance to this cave. Er, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. Coleus. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly. Milore, uh, <laughs> Milore? Uh, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Hate. I hate that it's its light still glows. Even in death. Alright. Gotta put that away. Gotta... Right. Got a stepping stone. Did I recall it? Son of a gun! Alright. Finder Scout, yep. Just accidentally bonked it. By, like, calling, by pressing RB by accident. Oh no, I was trying to press RB and to read the thing and it accidentally brought back my, uh, three minutes oxygen. Oh hey. isn't completely full stand, sand. You can actually step beside things. I 
hate, detest, disgust. Yeah. <sighs> okay, at least I got here and it's not like it came back from the dead or anything. And also, it's interesting that the children's handwriting... I don't know if this is done by hand, but it's more, you know, scratchy. Uh, you know, isn't as confined. Anyway. <sighs> Levy. Levy. Or, Lev Levy. Um, whoever, uh, whoever was it... Uh, oh, whoever was it when we ended last time... Yo, oh, whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against the wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. The last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. What? <laughs> Lammy, why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you had to wear a blindfold. The roll stands. Elix, roll update. It's okay if you're if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. <laughs> That's cute. <sighs> Not so cute, though. Man. Hello. Interesting that the light still shines. Like, I hate that. But also, I'm interested in that. Did that lead to uh, death? No. <laughs> and there might be unseen natural. Yeah. Anglerfish study. Er, uh, Milore. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it is used to. It uses growth to attract uh, prey? A lure? Coleus. An update. Milore. While I was making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. <laughs> That's cute. This anglerfish digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. I am entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. Love these fucking nerds. Where am I? Oh, well, I'm. Where am I? Alright, I'm kinda. I'm closer to the south pole. But, yeah, I can see stuff from there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is something I might. On to read here, and for completion's sake. Okay, yeah, this is. We're not hurt, but. We're not hurt, but things are rough. Environment scan complete. Do not see on the surface. Alright, this is from top to bottom. Have been activated. They've been mortally injured. Activated. Point 
actually. Launch it into collision imminent. Yeah. There's many one way doors like that. The door crystal on the path was broken. Was it? Okay, here it is. Bonk. I think this is it. Or this was it. Three minutes remaining. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, uh myself over here. Okay, I'm headed towards the south pole. But I explicitly told myself I need to head north. I kind of wish I could uh, Zelda roll right now. That'd be nice. So where's my ship? I could have. I should have. Um, then again, I can't really make a marker on the planet itself. Do I have enough time to hit there? Hit Okay, I sh sh I'm not gonna say. city, but... are blind. Yeah, okay. Alright, this, this has been incredibly... This has been a really great... Uh, we found a lot of information this this time actually yeah I think this will be the uh, last loop especially since the one before this I just died horribly um, is you know we found some real good information and I found out the real anglerfish are blind that that's gonna be useful because at some point I will go back to the bramble but knowing that they're blind is interesting. 
so they don't track me by sight. Or at least, according to this, at least, they don't track me by sight. Uh, I don't have enough time to poke around here just because of the sand. Uh, that said, I could... I mean, I could return here. Can I return here? I mean... What does it mark? It doesn't mark it. That's... Um, well, I know how to get, I know a way to get there. Probably not the, uh, the best way to get there. Hollow's Lantern. It's an incredibly terrifying <laughs> way to get there, but, uh, let's go. Because, yeah, I don't think my ship can fit through the hole. forgot that it gets bombarded by fucking artillery. <laughs> basically artillery. Uh, wait, isn't there someone here? Let's see here. Doing this game. Now, before I go slam dunk myself into uh, that... I'm gonna find, or I'm gonna try to find the homie. Oh, okay. I think I've been to that station. Okay, there should be a homie here. I guess it'd be easier to just land somewhere and just try to search them. Let's land somewhere else. get blinded. That said, where is the... Where... Come on, where's the station? Come on, where is it? Okay, I think that's just a rock. Okay, it's hard to see just because, you know, space-time anomaly. You know, just kind of casually there. Just, you know, in the casual. I think that's the best I can do. And... Not there. No. Wrong. Yes. How do I 
I get in? And thank you so much, dear, for the uh, help with the whole, you know, oof, entering this place. <sighs> Fell through the black hole of accident. Don't worry, you heard the first. Astral body. I guess I could technically explore outside. I feel like I'm missing something though. I guess before I... shells more to explore here. It's not actually at the I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. really have a grasp of how all-encompassing that really is. Also, yeah, I feel like I'm missing something at the Whitehall station, but I'm not sure what. I probably need to poke around outside of it a bit more. Also, potentially... Maybe um, Chet could look at the the stone from there. But yeah, I've been streaming for almost four hours, which is kind of nuts. I mean, it's nice. I mean, I'm happy that I had this much energy and stuff. But yeah, I feel like this is a good place to stop. Yeah, it really can reach the Whitehall station, but. A 
Okay, I think. I can do it. Maybe. But. You can... Oh, that's neat. But anyway. Yeah, that's... Uh, thanks for watching, you know, the stream and all that. And, yeah, also when this goes up on YouTube and all that. But, yeah. Thanks so much. Again, Jazz, for introducing me to this game. <laughs> rude, rudely, yeah. Hey, thank you so much for introducing me to this game. It is a blast, and it's always wonderful to play. Even when I feel like I don't know exactly what I'm getting at, you know, it, it it's very easy to, like, build up from little victories. Cause, yeah, we found out a lot today. So, yeah, th this has been real great, but, yeah, uh, I'm gonna end the stream now, and I, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you have a lovely day and all that. Ciao. Whew. <sighs>